Hey guys, welcome to Tech Officials. I am Annie. And today I have just turned on my desktop, which I normally don't use. The BIOS shows me this message. So my hard drive detects imminent failure. So now it's time to replace it. So today I am going to replace the hard drive of my desktop. And I know that it is very common that. Uh, Almost everybody knows how to replace hard drive of desktop but for those who don't know I am making this video so I am going to replace my old hard drive with this so I have purchased this hard drive it is the Toshiba 1TB hard drive so first I am going to open it and then we will be moving on towards the installation part so now let's first open it as you guys can see this hard drive is packed into anti-static packaging which protects it from static current and static charge so I am going to cut it like this And here you can see some details. Toshiba capacity 1 TB. And I'm not sure that this hard drive is the 5400 RPM one or the 7200 RPM one. I'm a little bit confused about that. So in, inside this anti static packaging, we have our hard drive. This is the back side of the hard drive and this is the SATA connectors, the SATA power connector and the SATA data transfer connectors. So it is a brand new hard drive. So now let's move on towards the installation part. So first I am going to start with grounding the cabinet so that if any static charge is present in the cabinet components like the hardware part uh, like uh, the capacitors present on the PSU or the capacitors present on the motherboard so that uh, this process will help us to discharge all the charge from the PC cabinet so it will be safe to, uh, for us to install the hard drive so for grounding this cabinet I am using the this grounding clip People normally don't use this method, they just uh, quickly fit the hard drive but uh, this is my way to fit a hard drive uh, in a PC cabinet. So before grounding this clip, I mean before connecting this clip to our PC cabinet, we have to open it. So I am going to open my PC cabinet. So this is my PC cabinet, matched up with all these wires and SATA cables. So now I'm going to take this grounding clip and connect it to the metallic body of the PC cabinet, just like this. So it will discharge all the charge, if there any charge is present in it, it will discharge all the charge from the PC cabinet. So it will be safe for us to install the hard drive. So as you guys can see on the left side this is the our defective hard drive which has failed. So now we have to remove this and then we have to replace it with a new one. So now I am going to start with disconnecting this SATA power cables and SATA data transfer cables. So you will need to unscrew this hard drive before putting it out from the PC cabinet. So I am using this screwdriver. 
so the screwdriver type will be vary from cabinet to cabinet so first check what type of screw fits into your cabinet screws and then take that screw bit and place it into your screwdriver and then start your job so first i have to unscrew the screw present on this side first let me remove this front case so that it will be helpful for me to quickly open the i mean to quickly grab the screw so in your case you may not used to do this thing because your cabinet may be different and if you have the same cabinet which i am have you have to do this thing so that it will help you to reach the screw it is little bit stuck up so you have to force it to open but keep in mind that you don't break this plastic components i mean this plastic locking mechanism make sure you don't break it so as you can see i have successfully removed this panel the front panel without breaking it so i am going to put it aside and now going to open the hard drive just like this so in this cabinet i don't have to remove the screws because there is a mechanism given here so in this type of uh, cabinet i have to only just remove the front panel and just there is a screw clipping mechanism here so only you have to pull this clip up and going to slide your hard drive up side just like this so that it got loose and enough to get out from your cabinet slot so as you guys can see i have successfully removed the failed hard drive from the cap pc cabinet so now i have to remove this sliding mechanism screws and going to put this screws onto my new drive so after removing the screw you have to put this screws uh, into the into your new hard drive so these screws will be helpful to install your new hard drive because a new hard drive doesn't come with screws so you have to use your pc cabinet old screws to fit your new hard drive so i'm removing this uh, bad hard drive and going going to install the our toshiba hard drive so this is the new hard drive which i'm going to install which is the capacity of 1 tb and my old hard drive is of the capacity of 250 gb so this uh, old hard drive has a capacity of 250 gb which is very less and our new hard drive has a capacity of 1 tb so i am going to quickly put it back into our cabinet so first start with thing this fitting the screw so now let's tighten these screws so that it doesn't come off from the hard drive so now going to slide this new hard drive into the hard drive slot of my pc cabinet just like this again pulling the screw off i mean pulling the clip up and going to slide the new hard drive just like this so as you guys can see i have successfully placed the hard drive into the hard drive base of the pc cabinet so now i'm going to connect all the connectors the sata power connectors
and the SATA data transfer connectors. So um, now I'm going to disconnect the our ground clip and now going to and again connecting the front panel of the PC cabinet and then I'm going to quickly close this PC cabinet and move on towards the booting process so that we can install the new OS to this hard drive because there are no other hard drives in this PC cabinet so we need a OS to work on this new hard drive so now we are done and now let's begin with our booting process and let's install a new OS to this hard drive So now let's quickly install the OS into our new hard drive, turning on the CPU. So I am installing the Windows 10 home version. So now I have to insert the product key. So I am selecting the Windows Home because Windows Pro needs 8 GB of RAM to perform very well and I only have 6 GB RAM installed in it. So if I will install Windows 10 Pro then it will be problem for me because the performance of the PC will be affected so I am going with the Windows Home which is a light version compared to the Windows 10 Pro so I have allocated two partitions one is the 194.8 GB one and the other is the 736.2 GB so in the 194.8 GB partition we will install the OS and the rest of the partition will be used to store other softwares and files so now the process has started installing the windows 10 